talk is on outcomes of clavicle fixations and results from a district general hospital. A little bit of background on clavicle fractures. There's an incidence of roughly one in a thousand per year. They make up between 2.6 and 4% of all adult fractures. Often seen in young active patients, commonly in males under 30 years old, and they can be classified as medial, less than 5%, mid shaft, which is the majority at 75 to 85%, or lateral end fractures being around 10 to 15%. Historically, clavicle fractures were almost universally treated non operatively. Although fixation techniques have evolved significantly over the recent decades, the most appropriate management of these fractures is still heavily debated. The aims of this study were to look at patient outcomes and complications of surgically fixed clavicle fractures at a district general hospital operated over a period of eight years. So what were our methods? We retrospectively identified patients through our hospital database from 2011 to 2019. The inclusion criteria for these patients were that they had to be skeletally, skeletally mature and they underwent operative fixation of their clavicle fractures for acute fractures and also delayed and non-unions. We kept collected data regarding their demography, their smoking status, their mechanism of injury, indications for surgery, and then we looked at complications of the operative fixation, which included complications such as non-union, infection, and we also looked at the rates of metal work removal. We also contacted as many patients as we could and performed a questionnaire to work out their quick death scores, which is a scoring system of the disabilities of the arm, shoulder, and hand. So let's take a look at our results. From this time period, we identified 191 patients who underwent surgical fixation of their clavicle fractures. To further divide these into the anatomical location of their fractures, we had 151 of them having mid shaft fractures, so 79%. We had 37 lateral fractures, which is 19%. And we had three medial fractures, just 2% of the 191 patients. We then looked at mean time to surgery. So just generally looked at time to surgery and the mean time for all patients who underwent fixation was 68 days. And that's just over two months. For the acute fractures that were fixed, the time to surgery was 17 days. So looking at around two and a half weeks. For patients who had delayed union of their fractures, the mean time to surgery was 117 days. And this is roughly four months. And then for the patients whose fractures were treated conservati conservatively and went on to a non-union, the mean time to surgery was 409 days. And this is around 13 and a half months. We went through all of the patients and tried to contact them to work out their quick dash scores. We were able to contact 84 out of the 191 patients. And the mean time for follow up for these phone calls was at 4.1 years. We calculated the quick dash scores. So the overall quick dash scores for these fixations was 6.9. For the acute fixations, 
this was a lot lower at 5.5 and for the non-unions they had a higher quick death score averaging 14.6 then we looked at the complication rates the overall complication rate of these fixations was 17.8 percent we had a 1% non-union rate, we had a 2.6% infection rate, and we had a 17.8, sorry, a 7.8% plate removal rate, though this did not include any patients that had fixation with a hook plate, as these would be expected to be removed anyway. So to conclude our findings, this study is currently the largest in the literature looking at outcomes of surgical fixations of clavicle fractures. We've demonstrated that operative management results in excellent long-term outcomes in terms of patient-rated rated, uh, satisfaction outcomes, and also demonstrated low non-union rates. It is worth bearing in mind that as with all surgeries, not without complications, if surgery can be avoided, it should be. In patients at high risk of non-union or of signs of non-union and recognize early on, we suggest considering earlier fixation to improve long-term patient satisfaction rates. Thank you very much.